Construction, Introduction to Construction and Woodworking at Sierra College. We've gone over our book, Basic Principles of Construction by Mark Hoof, uh, Chapter 7, Construction Math, and today we're looking at decimals. Okay, so Chapter 7 objectives are to be able to add and subtract decimals, multiply and divide them. Okay. Decimals can be added, subtracted, multiplied and divided. Uh, the key with adding and subtracting is you line up the decimal point and multiplying and division, you keep track of the decimal point. Okay. The decimal system is all based on numbers of 10. And the placement is how far away, how large or small the number is, is how far away from the decimal point it is. And the key is really to keep track of the decimal point. Okay. So here's our decimal point here. This is our thousandths place. So if I just had 0 0.007, that would be seven thousandths. This is our hundredths place and our tenths place. So this is 567 thousandths of an inch. If I just had 0 0.5, that would be five tenths. This is our ones place, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousandths place. And what those are based on how far away from the decimal it is. The further to the right, the smaller. The further to the left, the larger. Okay. So when you're adding and subtracting decimals, you want to make sure the decimal points line up. So this is a good example here. The decimal point, the decimal point, the decimal point. 4 minus 2 is 2. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then I decimal point straight down. In addition here, these are all lined up. There's no number here. So I have 2 plus 0 plus 3 is 5. Here I have 9 and 8, 17, plus 2, 19. I carry the 1, 6 and 1 is 7, and 7, 14, 15. I carry the 1, 5 and 6 is 11, and the 1 is 12. I carry the 1, so I have 125.95, and the decimal point straight down below that. So this is a bad example here where the decimal points aren't lined up with that answer. Okay, here's an example. Um, here, let me put the screen up. On. Okay, so if I'm building a house and I have 2.3 squares, 2.8 squares, 6.2 squares, 2.8, and 2.3, grab them all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I have them all down. I'm going to add those up. Decimal points are all lined up. I have 3 and 8, 11. 2, 13, 21, 24, carry the 2, the decimal place stays here, 2, 4, 6, 12, 14, 16, so I need 16.4 squares to roof this house. Okay. So to multiply decimals it's a little different, you don't line up the decimal place, Instead, you keep track of the decimal place. So here's an example of keeping track of the decimal place. Here I'm over 1. Here I'm over 1, 2, 3. So my final answer is down here. So I have to go over the 1 and the 3. So I go over 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So again, I figure out how many places I'm over. From the far right, I'm over 1. 2, 3, 4, and my final answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the multiplications just the same as we did in chapter 6. Okay, so here's an example. Uh, here I'm multiplying. Multiply these numbers together. I'm over 1, 2, 3, 4. So my final answer is over 1, 2, 3, 4. Same thing here. Oh no, 1, 2. 3, 4, I'm over 1, 2, 3, 4. Division of decimals, you move the divisor's decimal point to the right until you have a whole number to divide with. Move dividend's decimal point to the same number of spaces. And make sure your answer's decimal point lines up with your dividend's decimal point. So if I have 0 0.6150 divided by 0.75, I do write this over here. What I'm going to do here 
is what I'm saying is this number is divided by this number. So 0.75 goes into 0 0.6150. I'm going to move this over 1, 2. So I move this over 1, 2. So my decimal point goes there. And I get rid of this. 75 does not go into 61. So there's a 0. This decimal point goes straight up. 75 into 615. Um, this is probably about 8. Let me try that. 40. 56 is 60. Yeah, so this goes in here 8 times. Uh, 600. This is 150. 75 goes into 150 twice. So my answer is 0.82. So again, this was 0.75. I move it over 1, 2. So this is 0 0.6150. I take this, I move it over 1, 2, and I carry it straight up there. Okay. So to summarize here, use basic math principles when working with decimals. Remember to align the decimals when you add and subtract. However, you keep track of the spaces to the right of the decimal when you multiply. And then on division, you keep track of them as well and you change to the whole numbers by moving the decimal for division. Okay, so that's uh, chapter eight, construction math decimals.